number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. lightweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Bam Bam. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. Championship. I want you to do my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? So all right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. There by Nermago Meta. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Meta. Yeah, Habib Nermago Meta is not only a wrestler, he's a full on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice. 
nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Oh, nice jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big power shot there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! These guys throwing early. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Just over three minutes to go. There, DC. Another punch land. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big head kick. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. 45 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to push very bad. He's hit me. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out. And before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit them with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Beautiful body kick. Another shot lands upstairs. <laughs> and there comes the separation now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Good job defensively to block the strike there by Nermago Meta. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. The left punch is true, now the right hand. 30 seconds to go. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you drop the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Right hook to the head block. Big kick land. Big kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such right a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize the guy, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. And a 
a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Nermago Meadow. How about that shin? Oh, that's a big... Oh! Oh, big left! Oh, what a top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Pretty good right hand. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Powerful leg kick lands. Yeah. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Yes. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And the accuracy rate about two. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Clutch the shot. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nermago Medoff. Slips the punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Right hook to the body. Big kick land. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it and Habib lands early, and he lands often. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, what a punch. Wow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. Sneaky head kick. Big leg kick land. Visibly limping here. Ten seconds remain in round two. That's a big strike right there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward.
I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice straight punch. Nice leg kick there by Nurmagomedov. Right on the button. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand upstairs. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this match. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Lance with a right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Marco Manov gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, nice. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 120 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, the accuracy rate not great, below 40%. Now 38% on the connections against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Marco Medov gets caught with that punch. Two minutes now to go in the round. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they set this. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to establish that jab. Jermago Medov gets hit with a kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. What a tricky head kick. Nurmago Medov shot is blocked. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. And that one certainly found the target. Big kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the 
point thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not the He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Both fighters back to their feet now. Shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Throwing that jab, no good. Straight punch lands. He can't even, he can barely stand. start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. It's big ball from punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Real quick leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses with the jab. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Good stick. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Look at him whip his hip.
His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Under a minute now to go. Big roundhouse now, just missed. And he landed the right hand there. What a body kick. They continue to exchange. Caught that kick there. Came from inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He blocks the punch. Magomedov gets hit with a kick. 15 seconds to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. Throws the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you want. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. That straight left hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Under three minutes remain in round five. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. 
Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Right hand upstairs. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, fucker, his leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Nurmago Medov shot is blocked. He's Unbelievable. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. And really starting to make these shots count. Never looked this good. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world, you're looking at him. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision. And new UFC lightweight champion So there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word. It's it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter holds. They get that one moment to hear Ann new. And then they want to hear Ann still, but before any 